a lot of you know me, I've been a, I'm one of the older guys, if you can't tell. <laughs> but uh, now we want to talk about change and, and uh, there's an interesting guy, Joel Barker, I don't know if you know who he is, he talked about paradigms and what paradigms are, it's like water in the aquarium, okay, the fish lives in that, that water, all right, and it's our environment, and he st this guy, he studied ecology and our past, our ancestors, and he found that change comes on the verge, on the edges, okay? Not like you'd think that all the change happens in, in the center of population. What happens, change happens on the edge of our paradigms, on the edge of the aquarium. Like the fish that tried to get out of the ocean, okay? Those species and stuff had more to do with change in ecology and evolution than the fish living all together in the big schools, okay? But there's something that we can learn, because, you know, we're fortunate here to live on the verge, on the edge, okay? Erie is really kind of one of those verge cities, okay? And that's why everyone talks about, oh, why is there so much creativity in Erie, okay? It's because we're forced to live in an environment that's on this edge, this cutting edge. And it forces, I think we're very fortunate to live in Erie, and I just want everyone to realize that. From when we talk about change, we have an opportunity to do more change here, living on the edge, okay, than living in the mainstream. Like, but, you know, a lot, a lot of times, um, you know, I've, I've been involved with poetry for a long time, and everyone says, oh, where's the inspiration come from, and, uh, you know. But, um, it comes from, you know, we're, we're kind of like two, two brains in one, okay. We have this creative brain, okay, that's more spiritual, and I think that's what we're talking about when we do poetry, versus the logical brain. You know, living in the here and now, and all those things you have to do. You know, there's no poetry in writing bills. I guess there is. But, you know, it's the poets that are able to be more creative. And that creativity and where we're at and stuff, that can lead to more change, okay? Now, we're one poet, okay? One poet up here talking, and then there's two poets, and they can be friends, and they can analyze things, and three poets, and four, ten, a hundred, ten thousand, a hundred thousand poets, all right? There's this consciousness, okay, that can drive change, okay? There is hope. So I'm going to read a couple things um, that I just recently wrote. What, this one kind of talks about contrast. The one is about the light, and the other one is about the dark. It goes, a shadow in the dark close my eyes and I can see. If I wish it really, really hard and say three times, I believe, I believe, I believe. Perhaps my heart can soar. Open my eyes in an empty bed, a shadow in the dark. As a geese flies overhead, a familiar honking announces. Yet another year passes. A glimmer in the light open my eyes and I can't see. I try really, really hard to forget, 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 forget. I know my soul can rest. Close my eyes in a crowded bed. A glimmer in the light, a mouth shuffles by. An unfamiliar sound as time stands still forever. Now again, I mean, when you think about it logically, a lot of that stuff doesn't make sense, but I think poets are intellectual in an emotional way, in more of a spiritual way, than you'd find in a room full of accountants. <laughs> so again, it's an honor. Um, Everybody is a star. Makes no difference who you are, cause deep in your soul, 
the rock's gotta roll. Everybody has a song to sing. Everybody has a page to write in the book of life. Cause deep in your soul, the rock's gotta roll. <laughs> but anyways, I firmly believe that everyone, um, you know, deep in their soul, there's that creativity, that drive, okay, that drive that makes us better people, you know, the, the dreamers, the seekers, we're the lucky ones, you know, you know, it's frustrating sometimes, you know, when you're trying to make change. I dreamed far more than e'er I lived, and even less I sang. To be where life's battle calls for me was more than all my pen or page could capture. What's true and strong has growing room and will perhaps eternally bloom. Red, white, and blue with purple dreams, salvation. And he will be who least it planned, but in life's dirge he dared to stand patriotic to his nation. That's sort of our message. Think it and yonder go. Great bursts of imagination, imagination, steaming trains clang into stations. Top-hatted skeletons disembark waving canes. Every day, an existential celebration. While children scamper into the outdoors, some sparks of delicious shivers, all such welcome moments and welcome gifts. Between this world, its impermanence, its impermanence, and the next. Thanks. I've got two poems, and what I'm going to do is actually mix it up. All right, because a lot of times the serendipity, just never know where it'll take you. So this is just a little experiment. You know, we dreamers wander the landscape of the soul. On our adventurous journey, look for me on your hike. I will be there in the wind, high in the trees. We seekers ponder and wonder of the yonder. Laughter in a babbling brook through the shadows of the same sun, miles apart but in shared woods stretch, stretching the soul is good. Courageous fantastic adventures beyond the curtain. Breathe deep and enjoy the air. Take time in and hold me there. Our shadows are from the same sun. Mighty winds, please take me there. The meek seek the truth, while the weak further retreat. The cry of the wild sits deep in our curious minds. Thank you. All right, that's about 10 minutes. It's been an honor and a privilege.